Hi there little explorers. Today we're going to explore the wonderful world of dinosaurs. A long, long time ago, dinosaurs roamed the earth. During this time, the earth looked very different from today. There were no people or cities, just lots of forests, volcanoes, plants, and of course many different kinds of dinosaurs. Have you ever wondered what dinosaurs were really like? Today we can learn about dinosaurs because of people called paleontologists. Paleontologists are like detectives, but instead of finding clues for mysteries, they find clues about dinosaurs. A paleontologist is a scientist who digs deep into the ground to find old dinosaur bones. These bones help us understand what dinosaurs looked like, what they ate and how they lived. Before we meet our dinosaur friends, we need to learn two more words. They are herbivore and carnivore. Some dinosaurs ate only plants like leaves, ferns and shrubs. We call these dinosaurs herbivores. An example of a herbivore today is a giraffe. Other dinosaurs hunted animals to find their food and they ate meat. We call them carnivores. An example of a carnivore today is a lion. Now, let's meet some of our dinosaur friends. This is Triceratops. The name Triceratops means three-horned face because it had two long horns above its eyes and a smaller horn on its nose. These horns were likely used to defend itself against predators like the Tyrannosaurus rex. Behind its head, the Triceratops had a large bony frill that acted like a shield. The Triceratops was a herbivore. It had a beak-like mouth and strong cheek teeth that helped it chew tough, fibrous plants. This is Brontosaurus. The Brontosaurus was known for its enormous size and long neck. The name Brontosaurus means Thunder Lizard, which is a fitting name for such a massive, powerful dinosaur. The Brontosaurus was incredibly large, weighing as much as four elephants. It had a long neck and a long tail which helped balance its huge body. Even though it was massive, it was not the biggest dinosaur. Some others, like the Diplodocus, were even longer. Like many other giant dinosaurs, the Brontosaurus was a herbivore. The Brontosaurus used its long neck to reach high into trees to eat leaves and plants just like a giraffe does today. Could you imagine eating rocks for breakfast? What would you say if I told you that Brontosaurus ate small rocks? Brontosaurus had peg-like teeth that were perfect for stripping leaves off branches, but not for chewing. Brontosaurus would swallow its food whole, and the rocks would help to mash up the tough plants in his stomach. Even though Brontosaurus was huge, it wasn't built for fighting, so it relied on its massive size to protect itself from predators like the Allosaurus. The Brontosaurus was one of the largest animals to ever walk the earth. This is a Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-Rex for short. The T-Rex is one of the most famous dinosaurs of all time. Its powerful body, strong legs and huge tail made it a fierce hunter. T-Rex had a big head with a mouth full of sharp serrated teeth, and these teeth were perfect for tearing through flesh and bones. T-Rex was a carnivore. It was at the top of the food chain and likely hunted other large dinosaurs. The T-Rex walked on two strong legs and its large tail helped it balance. T-Rex had teeny weeny two-fingered arms. This is an Allosaurus. The Allosaurus was another large predator, but it was smaller than the T-Rex. It had a big head with sharp teeth, its body was thinner than the T-Rex and it had longer arms with three fingers. Allosaurus was a carnivore and it hunted large plant-eating dinosaurs like the Stegosaurus or even young dinosaurs. This is an Ankylosaurus. The Ankylosaurus was a medium-sized dinosaur, about as heavy as an elephant. It had a wide, low-to-the-ground body with short, sturdy legs. Its body was built for strength rather than speed and it probably moved slowly. The Ankylosaurus was a herbivore. 
It had a wide mouth with small leaf-shaped teeth that were perfect for chewing up tough plants. The Ankylosaurus is famous for its thick, bony armor. One of the Ankylosaurus's most amazing features was its massive tail club. The end of its tail was thick and heavy like a giant hammer made of solid bone. This tail club was used to swing at predators. This is Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus was a unique dinosaur known for the long bony plates on its back and its spiked tail. The Stegosaurus was a medium-sized dinosaur with a small head compared to its large body. The most recognizable feature of the Stegosaurus is the two rows of large bony plates running down its back. At the end of its tail, the Stegosaurus had four long sharp spikes, which was its main defense against predators. Even though the Stegosaurus was a big dinosaur, it had a very small brain, about the size of a walnut. Because of this, it's believed that the Stegosaurus wasn't very clever. This is a pterodactyl. The pterodactyl wasn't a dinosaur that walked on land. It could fly. With large wings and a long beak, pterodactyls soared through the sky looking for fish to eat. They were one of the first animals to fly. Even though they looked like dinosaurs, they were actually part of a group called pterosaurs, which were flying reptiles. This is a plesiosaur. The plesiosaur was a fascinating long-necked marine reptile that swam the oceans during the time of the dinosaurs. It was a skilled predator using its paddle-like flippers and streamlined body to catch fish and other sea creatures. This made it a carnivore. Though it wasn't a dinosaur, it lived alongside them and shared the same ancient world. Plesiosaurs are also the creatures often connected to legends like the Loch Ness Monster. When we think of dinosaurs, we always imagine them as huge creatures. But, little explorers, not all dinosaurs were giants. Some were very small, about the size of a chicken. The smaller dinosaurs had different survival strategies like speed and the ability to hide from larger predators. Learning about dinosaurs is fun because each one is unique and special. Thanks to paleontologists, we know all about these amazing creatures that lived millions of years ago. Little explorers, which dinosaur is your favorite? Now, let's end off with a fun dinosaur song. Roared so loud and strong, all the Saurus joined along. Stegosaurus had spikes on his back, Ankylosaurus with armor that stacked. Dino stomp, 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 stomp. Big and strong, they never stopped. Triceratops had horns of three. Brontosaurus was tall as trees. Pterodactyl flew so high, Plesiosaurus swam slowly by. Dinosaurs, both big and small, roamed the earth, one and all. T Rex stomped through ancient lands with big, strong legs and tiny hands. Dinosaurs, they roamed and roared. Let's all dino dance and stomp some more. Dino stomp, 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 stomp. Big and bold, they never stopped. Triceratops had horns of three. Brontosaurus was tall as trees. Stegosaurus with plates so wide, swinging his tail from side to side. He's slow but strong, watching move in the jungle, doing the dino groove. Allosaurus quick on his feet, chasing fast, he's hard to beat. Sharp teeth ready, hunting prey in the dino world, he's scary, okay. Dino stomp, 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 stomp. Big and bold, they never stopped. Triceratops had horns of three Brontosaurus was tall as trees T-Rex stomped through ancient lands With big strong legs and tiny hands Dinosaurs, they roamed and roared Let's all dino dance and stomp some more Dino stomp, 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 stomp Big and bold, they never stopped T-Rex roared and led the way 
Doing the dino stomp every day